So guys, here we go. We know Michael is always so competitive, but here we go. All right, starting us off with David Davis and Borshev, better known as Slava Claus. Who do you like in this fight? Oh yeah, I, I really <laughs> like this fight. Um, you know, Mike Davis and Borshev, you know, Slava Claus got one of the best nicknames in the game, yeah. but Mike Davis, you want to talk about tools. This guy, he can wrestle, he can strike. Just a tremendous athlete. Definitely leaning towards Mike Davis in this fight. Yeah, like you said, I mean, both these guys have tremendous stand-up. and uh, But I think, you know, the intangibles go to Davis, who has an extra, extra element that can get the guy to the ground and really wear him on top. I like Davis in this matchup. All right, guys, we do have a catchweight fight on this one, so let's take a look at Castaneda versus Santos. Who do you take in this one? I really like Castaneda in this fight. I like how he blends the stance changes into his game, and he really puts the volume together. I, I just like the tools. Ever since he beat Eddie Wineland, I've been really hot on Castaneda, so that's who I'm rolling with this fight, Karen. Yeah, I mean, Castaneda, you know, he has such a great tool set, the way that he moves in and out of range, the way he cuts off angles, defensively speaking, to cut off, uh, you know, the attacks is, 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 is nice. Um, I like Castaneda in this one as well, too. Okay, we know the featherweight division is uh, pretty good these days, guys. This one is an interesting fight. Sadiq Youssef was supposed to fight uh, Giga Chikadze, but we've got Don Shanus stepping in on short notice, and he says he's going to shock the world. Who gets their hand raised? Look, when that octagon door closes, anybody can win at any given moment. But, I mean, this is just an uphill battle for, for Shanus. Yeah. Um, you know, Sadiq Yusuf, just a tremendous power puncher. And in his fight with Alex Caceres, he showed he could offensively wrestle. And he said it himself, once he can blend the offensive wrestling into his game, he's going to make a run at a title. So I'm definitely going with Sadiq Yusuf in this fight. I mean, I love the mindset of Shanus. I mean, you're coming into a fight where... You're coming in short notice. You got to play the spoiler. You got to believe that. I like that about Shanus, but I think with Yusef, it's going to be tough to do. I mean, Sadiq is on another level right now, and he's feeling himself, and he's blending in the wrestling game, too. So I like Sadiq in this one. All right, well, let's drop down a few pounds to bantamweight, which is arguably the hottest division right now in the UFC. Howney Barcelos versus Trevin Jones. This one could be a scrap, guys. Who gets their hand raised? You know, Trevin Jones has the type of athleticism that you see in Mike Davis, but I just, I got to go Howney Barcelos. I mean, his dad's a seventh degree coral belt. You know his jiu-jitsu chops are, you know, he's got, he's got great accolades in jiu-jitsu, blends the striking in well. And at times, Jones can be a little bit tentative. Mm -hmm. And if you be tentative in front of Honey Barcelos, his pressure will break you. So I'm going, hey, Honey Barcelos. Well, I like Jones in this fight just because of the fact you said that it's the pressure that, you know, that, that Barcelos brings that, that really, you know, is going to be the problem. But I think Jones fights better when people close the distance and put a lot of pressure on him because he likes to stand back and play that counter game. I like Jones in this one. Okay. Well, we are now moving into our co-main event. This one is in the welterweight division with uh, Randy Rude Boy Brown <laughs> up against, uh, listen, this is going to be great, against a guy you know very well, Francisco Trinaldo. Uh, so the man is 44 years old, still doing it, Michael, but does he have what it takes to get it done over the younger fighter? You know, the thing with this fight, Karen, is when a fighter gets to the age that Francisco Trinaldo is at, it, sometimes their, their, their fall from grace can be very harsh. It can be very fast. But judging by the Danny Roberts fight, that's not going to happen anytime soon. He looks better than ever. I'm going with Francisco Trinaldo Masaranduba. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, it, it's, it's one of those fights. You know what I'm saying? I, I love the fact that you have the old guy, right, the old guard, finding tread this late in his career against a very tough finding his groove, uh, Rude Boy Brown. Yeah. He's fighting better long. He's using that jab like Tommy Hearns is. I like the rude boy. The rude boy. Okay, all right. And now for our main event, number five, strawweight versus number six. We've got Mackenzie Dern versus Jan Shaunan. This guy could be a uh, closely contested fight, kind of a striker versus a grappler matchup. Who do you like? You know, ever since the Carla Sparza fight, Jan has done all the right things to address that part of her game that Carla capitalized on. Uh, but I just think Mackenzie Dern, Mackenzie Dern always finds a way to get a fight to the floor at some point. And if she gets this fight to the floor at any point, I really believe it's going to be the beginning of the end. Uh, I'm taking Dern by submission. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting matchup. I mean, the true interesting part is how does Mackenzie Dern close the distance in an effective way and not find herself reaching and extended into what Jan Stronghouse is, which is that middle ground. Yeah. But despite that, I like Dern because I feel like she's going to get her down on the ground. And if she gets her down on the ground, it's a foregone conclusion, in my opinion. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.